Hi everyone, welcome back to Planet J Tarot. Today's reading is going to be a night a night's path spread that will be your new narrative, who you are, your new story. This is a reading I already offer on my website, so you can hit the description box below if this resonates and you want to get a personal one. Um, I offer them for five dollars. Uh, okay, yeah, let's get into it. First thing I want to know is the overall theme. Um, We'll say this has been the theme of your life thus far, okay? And then we'll we'll get to the pivotal parts. But let's say this is the theme of your life thus far. Okay, we have the two of coins in reverse. Okay, so we know that there have been quite um quite a significant amount of instability here. But I'm also hearing like um this instability, this loss of, or lack of, let me not say loss, but lack of a strong foundation in your life, especially for a lot of you guys, this could be financial. Um, this has made it very difficult for you to smell the roses, I feel like. Like you have a hard time sometimes feeling like today's going to be a good day, appreciating the birds in the sky, you know, the nice sunsets around you it's like you you have a hard time finding beauty in the small things and it's because you are currently trying to manage um lots of big ones at once possibly two or it could be that you're um thus far you've felt like you've had to consistently make really heavy decisions but that have not really gotten you anywhere and that's where that inability to smell the roses is the inability to be a little bit more optimistic comes from because your mind is not even just your mind, but your energy is being pushed to try and figure this part of your life out. That's been the theme for you for quite some time now, okay? And now we're working on getting a new story for yourself. Uh, today we're using the Broken Mirror Tarot deck. Let me show you guys. Sorry, that was my chair. But today we're using the Broken Mirror Tarot deck in case anybody was wondering. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, maybe you feel like you've been making a lot of mistakes and like clumsy or um, or like uh, mistakes that could have been avoided because I just feel like I just tapped into that just now. But um, if that's not you, then please don't take any offense because I'm just clumsy. But anyway, um, okay, the next part is going to be something that was a big struggle for you in the past. Okay, so looking a little bit closer into this uh, feeling of instability. You know, sometimes you feel like we're not on the right track, like we can't make um, the right decisions and things like that, but it's in our head. Uh, but sometimes it comes from a really real, real and um, overwhelming place. So let's see what that's about. Okay, we have the Eight of Coins. Oh, okay, Eight of Coins. So in the past, I feel like for a lot, God, I just, uh, I got a lot of sympathy, right? I feel like in the past for a lot of you guys, you have always been like really hardworking and um, diligent and dedicated to getting where you want to be. But it's like at the same time, I feel like you guys think that you're always like stuck in this place of like dreaming for something better and not quite getting there. Um, some of you guys feel really small on a day-to-day -day basis because maybe I don't even want to say it's that you're comparing yourself right because it doesn't mean that you're not confident but like it's like you can't help but do it because of whatever state you're in like for example like if you go to a restaurant and you know you have to get the cheapest thing on the the menu or whatever and you're looking around and seeing everyone else like celebrating a birthday popping bottles like you know what I mean like you can't help but compare yourself to them because they're right next to you and if, if, even if you're not doing it you feel like other people are comparing you but what you really want to focus on and what, what has been a major struggle for you is kind of staying on that path and feeling happy about the path. Because I'm not getting that you guys can't work, but it's that um, it feels like work. You know, some people, they go to work and I, this doesn't have to mean literally, but it's like some people, they wake up every day and life doesn't feel super hard. Um, it doesn't feel like you're going to have to do a whole hell of a lot, even if you do, because you love what you're doing. And it's not to say that you don't love what you're doing, but because you have to do it, that takes some of the pleasure out of it um, and makes it feel more like um, um, a necessity, if that makes sense. So I feel like you have a lot of things in your life right now, two pentacles that ha um, are showing need for decisions and close attention to detail. I feel like 
uh, your life has a lot of responsibilities. You know, you have a lot of responsibilities. I kind of feel like like almost like the Ten of Wands energy, like a lot of things that you're trying to manage possibly. Or even if it's not a lot, it's just even if you have a light caseload, it's like it feels overwhelming to you still. And it feels like you're working towards something. And sometimes it's hard for you to see the light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm hearing. So that's been a major struggle for you um, in the past, right? But now we're moving towards what's going to happen in the future that will change this for you. What's that look like for you? Ooh, the Four of Swords. Okay, so some of you guys are going to take like a little hiatus or a break. And this is, um, I'm happy that this came out in this position, right? Because this is how I know that the break is 100% necessary. Because this is what's going to pivot you towards the the new energy of your life and, and um, your new story. The Four of Swords energy is a swords that is very patient. So uh, an energy that is very introspective, taking time um thinking things through not into a point of overthinking but just you know giving yourself the time to really process things and i feel like for you guys maybe you've been on go for um so long that it's been hard for you to process things and and so you know uh, we're happy i'm happy that this four swords has come out upright because this is an ease um uh, this is a a natural move to this break like i'm hearing for some of you guys this isn't what you wanted but it is what you needed and you're gonna have to let it be but during that break during that time off during that period where you feel stuck sometimes maybe in your head or you're just thinking or feeling like you're in a really intense planning mode because four of swords can sometimes represent like this kind of like planning mode especially if paired with like an energy of like maybe like three of wands but um I feel like during this time, that's when like the sparks will keep coming in. And if you look at this card, um, there are a lot of green. There's a lot of green in this card. So I feel like um, that's where a lot of your money ideas will come from, from during this time of like break. For some of you guys, maybe this is like, oh, paternity leave, like maternity leave or, or um, you know, like I said, I, it's a natural thing. It's not like you're having to like burn yourself out to get this break. I feel like this is something that happens. Like, for example, if you work um, in the school system, school's about to get out. So maybe this break is just like, oh, you don't have a bunch of kids in the building. Maybe you're still going to have to go to work, but uh, you don't have a bunch of kids in the building. Or maybe you take the summers off and you go travel during that and then you work during the school year, whatever job you have. But I'm hearing like this is a natural break, especially when summer starts. A lot of people start um, with a break. Um, so depending on whenever this video finds you, you know what I mean? Maybe that break is like, oh, I found this during holiday season, whatever. But because um, this is a, a timeless reading. But yeah, I am hearing that that pivotal moment for you, for someone who's as hardworking as you are and goal oriented and stability oriented, this is going to feel uncomfortable for you, but it is um, it going to be exactly what you needed because I feel like the way you you work is like when you're on go, 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 you have this tunnel vision, like I mentioned before, and it, it makes it hard for you to see other options. Yes. Okay. I don't know why I just heard like seven of cups. So that's why I said like other options, um, but other ways to to reach where you're trying to go. Okay, yeah, because this is all about changing your narrative, changing your story. And that is going to have to require, yeah, a good amount of thinking, um, um, coming up with a game plan sort of energy. Yeah, that's what I feel. Okay, now this next part is going to talk about what your known concerns are, what has been staring you in the face, keeping you up at night, keeping you busy during the day, Um these are the things that you wish would kind of just magically disappear, but unfortunately they don't. And so you have to put a lot of effort towards. Oh, the tower. Yeah. Like I said, there is something that is going to have to change for you. And this is something that you're painfully aware of. For a lot of you guys, this is something to do with work. And I'm saying that because we have pentacles out. But for others, um, this is a change in mentality, which was um, which is directly linked to your inner peace and your ability to not have like general anxiety throughout the day. Um, so like what I mean by that is some of you guys have to get to a, a point where you can do like thought stopping. Like maybe you have very self-deprecating humor where you talk about yourself very negatively. Or like I said, you wake up and you're not very positive about the day. And, and that tower moment for you is to practice um 
speaking more highly of what your expectations are for the day and therefore calling that to yourself. For some of you guys, it is a change in the way you speak, the way you talk, and the way you think. But for others, this is something more literal, I'm hearing, because we do have pentacles, which is more literal and tangible things. So maybe this is moving away. Maybe this is finding a new job. Maybe this is buying a new car, uh, whatever it is. Um, I just heard wheels. I don't know why somebody's getting a new car. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, and that's what I heard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That um, that eight of coins is very um. Like I said, I kind of was feeling like ten of wands energy, but it's not there yet. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, it's like whatever it is that you deal with, it has got you to a point where you do feel very stressed out. In, in a day and that's why the pivotal moment for you is one that looks like doing absolutely nothing because that is pivotal for you guys for a lot of you guys um it is a kind of like strange thing to not see you working to not see you doing something new to not see you like having a new project or something like that and so that's why i feel like um that's what this major moment for you would be is to just kind of relax so you can think clearly yeah <laughs> Okay. Like putting your feet up, you know, sitting on the couch, putting your feet up, having a beer. Maybe you guys haven't done that in a while. I don't know. Maybe you need to go for a run. Uh, but I am hearing that this is a little bit longer than like a couple hours. Like some of you guys maybe need to take like a few days to yourself. And I'm not saying I'm not getting like any like sort of sickness or whatever. But like just like like I said, like giving yourself a break. Um, a lot of you guys just need to give yourself a break. That Eight of Pentacles is also an energy of like being in a place of learning or internship. So maybe some of you guys have been um, in school or learning new trades, learning a new language, teaching yourself something um, that you think is going to um, push you towards this next point in your life. Uh, Jupiter just moved into Taurus. When this video started, as I said, whenever you find this, it would be you'll have to look at what's going on in the energy then. But Jupiter has just moved into Taurus right now for those of you that are watching this right now. And um, this is definitely a time where, especially when retrograde was happening not too long ago, um, for you guys to rethink the practical ways for you to reach your goals and to create a stability in your own life. And um, yeah, so I feel like that has a lot to do with it. Maybe you guys are uh, finding yourself feeling like you're working really hard, but you're not there yet um, and having to persevere quite a lot. But moving on, uh, the main concern right now is um, something that needs to change. And it's something big. It's not something like, oh, I changed the toothpaste I'm brushing every day. Oh, I got a new brush and now I feel better about my hair every day. No, like this is like, this is something much bigger than that. Okay, because this is a major arcana here. And it's the first major arcana of the reading. And it's coming out in the place of your main concern. So, yeah, definitely a lot of ups and downs right now for you um feeling like you just can't catch a break um one decision having to be made after another but they're big decisions that can affect your um future and that's why i feel like you have been pushing yourself into work so much because you understand how much how heavy they are but um that also is not really healthy for yourself right healthy for your mind state and that's why this four of swords is there but now from here we're moving on to the more emotional parts underneath you that you have been I don't want to say ignoring, but you know, when you're in go mode, you're not thinking about it. Yes, it's there. Yes, it's motivating you, but you're not really thinking about it when it's happening. This is what that is. Five of wands. Yeah. Five of wands. I feel like, uh, I don't know why I just heard like genie in a bottle, but I feel like you guys have, like I said earlier, a lot of dreams, a lot of goals you want to accomplish. And there's like this um, inner anxiety and fight in you to reach them. But it's like almost I feel like sometimes you guys feel like um, you are battling with yourself, battling with the world, battling with um, not being where you need to be yet. Like and it's not that you're not trying, but it's I think for a lot of you guys, this is like a time thing. Some things just come with time and having to wait for them maybe puts you in a position where you feel um aggravated 
or ang uh, anxious is like a, a step lower than what I feel. It's like, you know, when you get to a point where you have constant anxiety, it can get to a point where even the slightest thing kind of sets you off. It's like you guys have this thing boiling up underneath you, this five of wands energy. And um, you're you're trying to find a way to keep it down, right? Keep it down with word, keep it down with goals, keep it down with what you have to do. But um, I mean, it's right here in the center of your reading. And this is the emotions underneath you. So there is a part of you that is feeling quite, um, what's that word? Um, uneasy, I feel. Like there's um, almost like this thing in your gut constantly. Yeah. Okay. And the next thing is you're going to be, I want to know more about your, um, the things that you, you, you don't know you're afraid of. These are the things that are really holding you back, right? Um, and you're completely unaware of, and this is something that you need to hear, and I'm going to give this to you. This is my token, and we will uh, pull some more cards for that um, in just a second. Okay, let's see. Oh, strength. This is the unknown fear. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are afraid that you're not going to be able to get where you want to be, that you don't have the strength or the courage to get somewhere a lot of you guys are afraid that your fears of of, of getting to all these these goals because if you kind of look on this five of wands the struggle and the conflict in this specific card in this deck is these people kind of you see how i feel like this person is like trying to like reach 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 to get up to the heavens and like they're not quite there yet um and this person is like having to adjust their stance or whatever sometimes conflict isn't um oh we're screaming we're fighting but uh damn like I thought I was going to be there. I'm not. I don't, I'm not. I'm a little upset by this, you know? And so I feel like you guys are afraid that at some point it's going to become all too much and you're not going to be able to get where you want because you'll lose sight of those goals. You'll lose sight of the um, confidence you have in yourself, right? Um, but this is all about changing your story. And so for you guys, the only thing that you need to do is find that strength in yourself. Because, I mean, the strength card has already came out. You have two major arcana, the tower and the strength card here, coupling um, this five of wands energy, which is that fire burning inside of you. So you guys definitely already have everything that you need to get there, right? You have the skills, you have the uh, charisma, you have the star power, um, strength card here, all about the star power to get wherever you're trying to get to go, even if that is someplace quiet. I just heard that, even if that's someplace quiet. Um, but you have to believe in yourself. And you have to be willing to continue to go through the ups and downs. Because right on the other side, that pivotal uh, moment here, right on the other side of that is this tower card. Things breaking down and that conflict being surpassed by this strength um, here. And that's what you guys need uh, to know. That is a part of your story, a part of your path, right? So if you guys are wondering, you know, sometimes people wonder, damn, am I one of those people that is just supposed to have everything handed to them? Or am I going to have to work my ass off to get somewhere, but then it'll all be worth it? If you were wondering if that was you, if that's your narrative, I'm telling you right now it is. That is your story. Your story is I've overcame a lot of obstacles and I am proud to be where I am, proud like a lion to be where I am because I broke through. And there's that light at the end of the tunnel that I was talking about. There's the, um, the home you always wanted the job you always wanted the whatever you always wanted the gardens the fruits the real labor everything is there um but it comes um from right there underneath like a place of darkness reaching to the top where the light is finally at and so you can't ignore that that is here which means that yeah your story is going to involve some ups and downs and we know that already with the two of pentacles in reverse and for some of you guys this is ups and downs in your in your foundation and your structure but it's because they're not meant to be there they're not meant to be there okay next let's see this is your um this is kind of what you get reckless with this is what you revert to when things get rough and you should have stayed your course elsewhere but this is what you go back to this is kind of like your fallback plan that isn't really a fallback plan but you've convinced yourself it is ten of cups oh, oh yikes okay we're going to do some clar some clarifications for this, okay? Um, because 
this is a very interesting part of the reading and I would like to get a better picture. Give me a second, you guys, because I'm about to pull out a different deck for you. We're about to use our Heavenly Bodies Tarot deck to clarify what this um, fallback plan that you have been, or this faulty fallback plan that you have been um, bouncing back to ever so, ever so, every now and again when things get uh, rough. Okay, and then we'll, we'll pull another one. Okay, tell me about this fallback plan. Because this is a Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is, has a lot of emotional investment. So this is something that you've put like a lot of time into. But I'm also hearing something that you dreamt of quite a lot. And that's why it's so hard for you to let it go and realize it's not for you. Because the Ten of Cups feels really, um, it feels like home. It feels like everything you've ever wanted. And like I said, for some of you guys, this break is what you needed. That tower moment is what you needed to show you that what you have been wanting for yourself is not it. That there is something more because i mean think about it what is what is more than just the ten of cups ten of cups is emotional fulfillment right but then it looks like for a lot of you guys what you need is something that shows the pentacles going up right so um maybe it's like your you guys are your guys's heart is somewhere but it's not um as lucrative maybe your uh, skills would be more lucrative elsewhere but i'm also getting for a lot of you guys this is more so um a, a place where you can shine more Right. You need uh, your plan is a place where you can shine more with that strength card there, a place where you can be the uh, center of attention and the star of the show. I feel like uh, for a lot of you guys, especially because this is the fear that was there, which can be sometimes putting yourself out there, feeling um, confident that even if something happens, you can overcome it. And it's um, right before this Ten of Cups. So I feel like that thing holding you back is that lack of confidence. And then you fall back on maybe old dreams dreams that look good on paper what is that let's see clarify this ten of cups what is this fallback plan what is this fallback plan what does this have to do with pluto transform and it fell over that two of coins so you guys are playing it safe a lot of you guys are playing it safe what else uh house 12 and uh, yin in reverse so yeah a lot of you guys uh you're not really like listening to your intuition right now um like i said a lot of you guys have that fire burning in you which gives you a lot a lot of impatience and lack of receptivity to uh what's been going on in your 12th house and the deepest part of yourself the part that deals with your karma your soul your inner part and the part that allows you to transcend so yeah you guys have been feeling stuck with this pluto and tower moment here uh, you guys have been feeling stuck and it's because you haven't been um balancing the, the dual sides of you you haven't been balancing the hard-working side of you to the soft side you haven't been balancing um you're you haven't been listening to the, the feeling that's been in your gut this whole entire time you have been listening more so to your head and convincing yourself that that is um you what you want for yourself like like i said you guys are playing it safe maybe choosing the route that sounds like oh this has the most money in it or something but that's not really for you let's get some more clarify this ten of cups here Okay, um, we had three cards fall. I don't really want to accept these, but I will show you guys and pull a little bit more. Um, but it just says here, accident, disturbance, and imagination in reverse. Um, so you guys have been playing it safe, not um, adding like a variety or, or change in your life. You haven't really been listening to your true fantasies. You've been listening to like what you, what you think or say are your true fantasies, but aren't really. It's coming from a place of fear and lack of confidence in being a dreamer. Like I'm hearing you guys are a true dreamer, but maybe people talk of you more as someone who's like a hard worker, but you are someone that actually has like a lot of dreams that maybe not everybody could accomplish, but you can because you have that strength card. Let's see, I'm getting kind of, I'm like, I'm hearing star card energy too. Like I said earlier, like star power. I, mean, I feel like you guys have that, but oh. But you don't um, allow yourself to live in it. Yeah, like you're being blind towards it. But a part of your new story is opening your eyes to that. Opening your eyes to the strength that you have. What else? Okay, marionette puppet. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been like kind of like a um, 
pop it to people cog in a machine but you do have like a sweetness to you and um a pureness to you and an ability to unconditionally love other people and that's where your strength comes from and you need to um accept that kind of like that yin and that yin energy the yin and the sweetheart energy i feel like are very similar to each other um and sometimes with the marionette it's like you guys are walking blind kind of like a puppet in your own life um with this house 12 and you're unaware of this yeah you're unaware of the fact that you have been kind of just uh, maybe doing what other people have been telling you to yeah doing things out of muscle memory doing things being on um autopilot kind of energy um yeah okay let's move on tell me more about this next piece of the puzzle is all about your driving ambitions okay so more of that real goal more of the real goal. What's that look like? Four of Wands. Yeah, like I said, stability. You guys want something that lasts, something that feels good, something that genuinely makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah, I like that Four of Wands. That's really what you want. You want to be able to walk outside, uh, you know, in the morning and smell the roses like this person is doing in this image. Smell the roses. Smell the fruits of your labor. Watch the sunrise. Maybe even, I don't know, live on your live on your own. Usually the four of wands depicts like a couple, you know, getting married or a ceremony or something. But this person is on their own, but they have built a lot for themselves. So maybe a lot of you guys' goal. And I feel like that is why I say like you guys may be convincing yourself right now. Oh, I want to be with someone. I want to be married. I want to be blah, blah, blah. I want to have kids. But maybe that's not what you actually want. And changing your narrative is should be more focused on um creating goals that only deal with you right like uh some people and this is there's nothing wrong with this because if you have kids of course you want things for your kids but some people when you ask them like what do you want for yourself what are your goals for yourself and you say uh or they'll say i want my my kids to go to college well that's not really your goal that's a goal for your kids that you want to help them with but what's your goals right like you guys have to focus more on yourself have have that confidence in yourself to make yourself the star of your own show is what i'm hearing because I think the um, agitation in you is feeling like a small, feeling too small, right? Like you see a lot of people higher up than you shining in front of you, but they're not even as good as you. And that's what you know and you feel it. And it's like, um, you guys, you don't want to overshine anybody, but you don't want to have something stable. And I, I'm sorry to tell you, but unfortunately, the way to getting something stable for you is by showing off, is by... Um, um, you know, um, performing a little bit, putting yourself out there, being a little bit more bold is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, and then finally, this is going to be the primary obstacles that you can start working towards fixing right now to end the reading, okay? What do you need to be fixing right now? It's Queen of Swords, yeah. It's definitely a mentality thing. For a lot of you guys, maybe this is being a bit bitter. But some of you guys, this is overthinking. This is getting too much in your head and not into your heart. Uh, playing it safe, like I said. You don't have to plan everything. Some things can be a little bit more um, free and childlike and less of like a puppet uh, thing. Like, oh, robotics. Like maybe some of you guys have just been in your head a little bit too much, moving like a robot um, every day, doing the same thing, blah, blah, blah. You need to switch it up a little bit. All right, let's get you some advice cards here. And then we're going to close the reading. What's the advice for our dear readers today? <sighs> Using our moon or cold deck. Okay. First one, this flew over this Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. So a lot about changing your um, dreams to be more about yourself. Your dreams need a practical plan. <gasps> Full moon in Taurus. What was I talking about? You can remind this. I was talking about the Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter just moved into Taurus, even though this is timeless reading. But yeah, at this time when this was recorded, Jupiter just moved into Taurus. And it was all about finding a more practical way to reach your dreams. So for some of you guys, maybe your dreams are what you want. But the way that you're thinking about getting them is like too heavily reliant on some other people, maybe, or too heavily reliant on something that is not um, transformative enough that would keep you um, doing the same thing. And you're not meant to do the same thing. Right. And it's hard because you're like, oh, how do I be practical if I'm not meant to do the same thing and come up with a plan and, and be more strict? No. Um, 
for you, it, it feels like you need to do something that's a little bit more freeing, something that you haven't done before, something you can't do out of memory. Um, you know, change it up. Try and do something different every day. Try a different project every week or whatever. You know, find the time to do that. Okay, next advice. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so yeah, you need to know that this is not something that is going to like last forever. You do have um, some... Some things working out around you in the universe right now uh, that's getting you to this end goal. Conclusions are within reach. So you guys are, like I said, some of you guys will feel like, oh, I'm working, working, working. But for what? At what cost? To what To what extent? And um, the cards are saying, well, the extent is about to be showed to you. But the first thing that you need to do is get out of your head to get out of this energy of um, overthinking it and step more into your heart and your confidence and this ability to just do things without questioning it, without um, explaining it to other people. If whoever doesn't understand it, well, it wasn't meant for them to understand, right? It's about you. Let's see. This one says emotions are running high. Yeah, I said you guys have been a little bit agitated. What does this say? Su Super moon. Yeah. <laughs> emotions are running a little bit high you have that anxiety and agitation in you to get where you need to be quick fast and in a hurry but don't worry um everything is going to be sorted out soon all right next advice for you we've got two more advice cards and then we're going to look on the bottom of the deck um to see what was on the bottom because i didn't peep at it just yet um and then we're going to close off the reading. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much if you made it this far. Don't forget to click the links in the description box below. And if you're interested in getting a spread like this, um, you can um, access it in the description box with the, uh, the link. Okay, so the next two advice cards for you guys. The first one says, step out of your comfort zone. Oh my God, I said that. Step out of your comfort zone. Like I said, you need to do something that you haven't done before. For some people, this is like, why would I do that? I need a sure thing. Okay, but no, you don't. So people get lucky every day. And it's not about luck because you guys already have the skill. We see like you have been working towards something, right? So get that. Um, and the last one, it says, don't let your pride get in the way. And it also says full moon in Leo. And you have the strength card here, which is what I said. Some of you guys have been blind to what your true passions are, which what you truly need to be doing right now. Because you have um, been telling yourself that you don't have what it takes, but you do. And um, sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone. And sometimes being practical is all about doing something that you actually have your heart in. Not convincing yourself your heart is there. Not emotionally, not convincing yourself you're emotionally invested in something because it sounds good on paper. But um, aligning your goals and that um, thing that makes you feel stable with something you also have pride in, something that you know um, you're good at. And so there is going to be something that is shaken up for you, for you to be able to change that narrative and um, uh, communicate and express yourself. The next part of your life is something that is completely transformative. You're going to kind of come out looking like someone completely different. <laughs> you know, who knows? Maybe you'll change your hairstyle. Maybe you'll do something. But I'm also getting that a lot of this is just about expressing yourself in a different way you know not um hiding parts of yourself not being blind to the good parts of yourself not um putting yourself down when you're really a sweetheart and someone who um is has an, a lot of inner strength strength to them diligence and um, attention to detail someone who is patient is someone that deserves you know everything great and this is what is going to help you change your story and create your own narrative in your own life and take control of your own life stepping out of your comfort zone feeling those emotions and letting them fuel you and then um coming up with a plan after you have um felt what it is to be free okay bottom of the deck here before we close out this reading is let's see Oh, three of cups in reverse. Yeah. Like I said, no more focusing on everyone else. No more mingling. No more thinking anyone else is going to save you. This is about you. This is about finding your your own way. Sometimes that is what your path is. Doing it on your own because you're the best. <laughs> you could do it best. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this reading. I hope it resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. To just shout out my nail tech okay because look at this girl she is so 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 good at what she does so good at her craft and i'm gonna put her at here but i'll also put it in the description box where you can follow her instagram and everything okay bye guys see you next time